Hello everybody and welcome back to the Retric Union Collectors channel today. And today we are taking our first look at the Velocitron Speedia 500 collection in the Transformers Legacy line. And we will start off with Blur. And we can take a look at his box first. Now I really like how these Velocitron Speedia 500 collection boxes turned out. I really like just like the blue and purple kind of look to it. I think it... I really like blue, and purple has recently been growing on me a lot, so I really like how these boxes turned out. But you got some really cool art of him right there. And it does not say, like, Comics Universe or anything like that, but to my knowledge, I believe this is based on the IDW Comics version of Blur. I'm not super familiar with that, though, but that's what I believe is this is the IDW Comics Blur. But taking a look on the back here, here he is in his robot mode as well as his Cybertronian like race car type mode. Very, very cool looking. Got some more art on that side with the legacy logo. Very cool. Get that out of here. And bringing him back into here. Here we have him in his robot mode and I think he looks really, really cool. Let's get his accessories out of here for now. I really like how this guy turned out. I really like that, like, multiple different shades of blue going on. And this might look white, but it is actually, like, a very, very light sky blue. So he's got at least three different shades of blue going on. If you want to count the cockpit here, it's kind of a fourth shade. But very, very cool looking. As you can see, almost every part on his upper body, well... I guess no, not really. This part, his shoulders, his head, these have all been retooled. But overall, what this is, like, on the inside, is this is just the Studio Series 86 Blur. Just retooled and redesigned to look like how he looked in the IEW comics, I guess. But we can come up closer here and take a look at his face. And I am loving how this new camera works. What do you guys think? Do you like these like up close shots? Are you liking how that looks? Got a much higher quality camera now, so I can do closer shots like that. I really like how this guy looks though. His head, a lot of people complained about the the Studio Series 86 head being too ugly, and I think like I've never read the IDW comic, so I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like, but I think it looks pretty good. Pretty good. I like how it looks. Like how he has the little like wings on the side of his head, give him kind of like a flash type vibe. But I've always kind of thought of Blur as like the the Transformers answer to the Flash, so I kind of like that. That's nice. But we just took them out of here, but we can go ahead and bring back his accessories, and these are the same exact things that you get with the Studio Series eighty six Blur as well as the Shattered Glass Blur. These are just in now a different color. They are his gun, which easily slides into his hand, and his little welding tool. I believe he used this in the movie at some point. That just goes over his hand there. Very cool looking. I do like the accessories that come with this guy, but we can take those out of the way for now. For some articulation, his head is on a ball joint so he can get fairly limited side to side but he can get quite a bit of forward and backward movement as well as full 360. His arms are on soft ratchet joints and can go full 360 as well as swing out pretty far and you can kind of maneuver this shoulder joint here to kind of get some different angles and stuff. He does he has that like double jointed shoulder joint here where it's a joint and then the ratchet and then another joint. So you can kind of abuse how that works there to get him into some really, really whack poses. But he can bend 90 degrees of the elbow with some elbow rotation. And he does have wrist articulation up here, but it is connected to this piece here. So in order to actually articulate his hand, you have to kind of move this whole chunk with it. So it's kind of a pain, but it is doable. Waist articulation. His legs can kick forward that far. Back really far. 
as well as out pretty much perfectly straight. And then he has rotation at the thigh, about 90 degree knee joint, no swivel there, but he does have really good ankle rocker joints as well as forward toe movement so you can get him into some like running poses. Very cool. This guy, I actually find this guy, for some reason, all three examples of this mold are figures that I just really like to pick up and just kind of pose around. And speaking of that, here we have the Velocitron Speedia 500 IDW styled blur. And we have the Studio Series 86 blur and the Shattered Glass blur. So I believe this is all three versions of this mold right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was there a Buzzworthy Bumblebee repaint of him, or was that just Cup? Uh, I'm not too positive on that. Let me know in the comments. I never picked up any of, of the uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee repaints. I just got the, the original Studio Series and stuck with it. But... I think these three look fantastic next to each other. You can definitely tell they're all representations of the same character. But you can also definitely tell, like, this looks more like an 80s cartoon. This looks more like a modern comic book. And this looks like an evil version of him. Like, you, you can... I really like how they are the same. But, man, these, these three give off very different vibes. Very, very cool. I actually really like how these guys, all three of them, how they turned out but we can get these two out of the way and we can now go ahead and get this guy transformed to check out his transformation guide like always link will be down in the description as well as right up here and we can go ahead and get him into his vehicle mode so here we have blur in his very cool looking cybertronian like race car speedster type thing and like I said, I'm not too familiar with the IDW comics, so I'm not sure if this is, like, perfect for what it's supposed to look like, but I'm going to just go ahead and say it's pretty good. <laughs> I like how it looks, so I'm going to count it as, as a good figure. Mm, there we go. So you can take his accessories, and just like the other blurs, you can just peg them right here. That kind of gives him a big gun coming out the front there, if that's a look you want. You can definitely achieve that. And these wheels in the front that are tooled to be like right in the middle of the spike. And because of that, if, if you can kind of see that, it straight up does not touch the ground. Here, let me grab something to angle the ground for you here. You see what I'm saying there? It, it just, there's no way those tires are touching the ground. They, they got like a whole like, my finger can almost fit between that. So... If you transform this thing and you notice that, it is not a mistake. That is just, it's just designed like that. It's, I don't really know why those tires do not touch the ground. But with that being said, it still looks pretty good. I still think it looks nice. But let's take his accessories off, just make them a little bit smaller, and let's do some comparisons here. So once again, here we have the Velocitron Speedia 500 blur, as well as the Studio Series 86 blur. And the Shattered Glass Blur again. So line these three up here. I think these guys turned out really, really nice. Like I said before, all three of them are definitely unique. They definitely have their own thing going for them. Like this, this is definitely a cool little collection I've got going here of, of these blurs. <laughs> and to be 100% honest with you, before this even came out, I didn't even know of the existence of, these, of this character. I was never super into G1. I was always into the Studio Series. And then when the SS86 subline first came out, I bought them because it was part of the Studio Series, got hooked. And now, now I have a huge collection of these. So <laughs> very glad they did that. At first I was reluctant, but I'm glad they did that. But there they all are. And we can get these two out of the way now. And we can go ahead and get him transformed back into his robot mode so we can finish this video up. Once again, the links to the transformation guide will be in the description as well as right up here. Check that out, and we can finish this video up. 
So here we are back in his robot mode. So to finish this video up, I think this is a super, super cool retool of the Studio Series 86 blur. If you are into the IDW comics, excuse me, you will probably really be into this because from what I've heard, it, it looks quite a bit like he does in the actual comics. I can't speak for that because I've never read them. But if that's what you're into, I recommend you check him out. If you can find him, I would pick him up. I think he is a very, very cool version of the character. And overall, I like the mold of this figure. So I'm going to just say I think it's a really good figure just in general. If you find him, I'd say pick him up. And if you enjoyed that review, let me know with a like, comment, and subscribe. And stick around for more Velocitron Speedy of 500 reviews coming very soon.